Hey, how's life treating everybody out there? <clears throat> I've been staying away from this subject, but there's so much of it being videoed out there that I cannot stand it anymore. I'm going to show you an email I got. about this so-called Mandela effect. One subject was the so-called spelling of Save-A-Lot that used to be S-A-V-A-L-O-T. And it keeps saying, I used to remember it used to be spelled that way. They went back in time since somebody threw time, done some kind of garbage, and now it's S-A-V-E. And so they make videos on this crap. Of course, that's just one of a host of things they claim that have been changed, which is absolutely fabricated. Nobody's doing any work or putting any thought into anything. So, a lot of these videographers that make these so-called Mandela Effect videos didn't do what I did. I wrote to Save a Lot Corporate Headquarters, and I asked them, when did you change your logo? where it's got the E on the end of the save. This is the response. This is the official response. As you can read it, thank you for your inquiry about our company name, Save-A-Lot. We've always, always spelled the store name with an E, Save-A-Lot. Then they're saying, there could have been a few licensee stores prior to 1990. Get it? In the past. You're not remembering the past correctly. You got a faulty memory. But they would have been corrected prior to this date, 2016. KDR, Corporate Customer Care. So they are flat out telling you licensee stores, some of them, didn't have an E on it, but they brought them up to speed. Now they have an E. Next on my list is going to be them talking about OxyClean Cleaner. Hey, it used to be OXY. Look at it now. A time traveler has changed it to OXI. How do you spell oxidation? Oxidizes. Do you understand that in the business corporate world, some people have to earn some money and make suggestions to the big shots? And every so often, they'll change some minute little meaningless thing. And you get your logo changed. Hey, you ain't got the same kind of Pepsi logo on the can that you used to have, did you? But sometimes they'll release a press release and you'll see an article in the paper about they're going to change a logo. You just have to put the time in and the effort in. So I'm going to write OxyClean Corporate Headquarters, something that you other guys should be doing that I'm having to do for you. And they'll send an email and I'll get an answer and I'll show their answer. And you'll be wrong again. Another guy said there was an episode of Tales from the Crypt. He was a big Tales from the Crypt fan. Oh my gosh, he said he saw an episode where a guy rose from the grave and returned back to his family and his daughter fixed some spaghetti and meatballs. His favorite dish, but when he ate it, it tastes like dirt. Everything tasted like dirt. So finally, he just decided to go, you know, be dead again. Well, the guy said he looked up in the archives of the Tales from the Crypt seasons and couldn't find that, so a time traveler must have went and pulled it. And our rea whole reality is just changing now from these time travelers. Or whatever. I got news for you. That episode was not on Tales from the Crypt. It was on Wes Craven's 
night visions. You can't even remember what show the episode was on. That's why you couldn't find it on Tales from the Crypt, because it was never on there. Wes Craven, I believe, had one season of Night Visions, and I went and looked it up, and I rewatched that episode. Yes, and I believe it was John Lithgow that played the guy that crawled out of the grave and then decided to die again, and everything tasted like dirt when he ate it. Next, somebody said, Oh my gosh, they've even tampered with Superman. It used to be. Christopher Reeves, with an S. Now, it's Christopher Reeve. A time traveler has changed things. Look at how things are changing all around us. Little minute things. Wrong. In the television series, back in the old days, about 50, 60 years ago, the black and white version was, was the first. I don't know if it ever went into color. I think they've colorized maybe a few episodes. The television actor that played Superman was George Reeves, uh, with an S. Reeves with an S. First name George. You can look that up. When it came to the movies, and they made the first Superman movie for the big screen, it was Christopher Reeve, uh, with no S. Oh, see. You don't bother to look things up, and if you did and you found that out, you didn't tell the truth because that would have debunked your own theory. It's little crappy things like this that people are putting all over the place, and they're absolutely non-factual. Now you're getting into insulting my Lord and His Holy Word. So I'm going to hook you up with a couple of links here. It's been known for years and years that the New International Version and some other more published versions of the Bible other than the King Version, the King James Version, those other versions have omitted verses, have changed words, yada, yada, yada. Now, this is something that's been known... And that's why for years and years and years, people advised not to use anything other than the King James Version. You people have to start using your brains and looking within your own heart. God's Word will never, ever be changed. When they make these alternate Bibles, these other different versions of them, they're not changing the King James Version. They're making a different edition. Because they dare not change the original translated version. Or they'll get the plagues added unto them. The curses of the plagues. That's your punishment for adding to it or taking away from it. So instead of adding to it and taking away from the King James Version. They just go away from it and make a whole different book altogether. With the changes in it that they want to make. To mislead and to deceive the enemy, the accuser, the liar. Satan doesn't have the power to change the word of God. He does not have the power. He is a defeated enemy already. He's just waiting to get his judgment thrown on to him. The story plays out and he knows what's coming. He's just going to play his cards until that time comes. But he has no card that will change the Word of God. And if you really have faith and you love our Lord, would you even question that that Word could be changed? Isn't our God, our Father, isn't Jesus almighty and unmatched in, in everything? So how could you possibly think that someone that does not have the power that our Lord does could possibly change his word? Now for a Christian to say that that could be possible and say that they still have faith, that is an absolutely dumbfounding thought to me. That you could possibly think that you had faith 
whenever you question whether the very word of God could be changed by the accuser, by Satan. So I would ask that you give what I said a whole lot of thought when you go thinking that somebody has time traveled and oh my gosh, things have been changed. You understand there's a King James Version, right? And you understand there's a New King James Version, right? In a new international, the NIV version. Well, I'm going to advise you as far as biblical changes that you think have happened. I'm going to advise you to watch these. Now, I know lots of you got short attention spans and you don't like to spend but five or ten minutes watching something. Then you go back to doing whatever it is you do. But if you'll take the time and you'll watch these, then you can maybe summon up the faith that you claim to have and understand that the very Word of God will never perish. It is everlasting. And it's not going to change. It's the same yesterday, now, and forever. Period. Just like he said, man doesn't live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Well, think about it. If the devil had that kind of power to change the word of God, wouldn't he be in charge? Couldn't he defeat him if he could change his word? In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was made flesh. I mean, come on, you got to start thinking about things. You got to start asking God to give you the answer. And, it, and if you do, He will. He may not like you questioning whether His Word could be changed, but if you really mean it, and you have the Holy Spirit inside of you, He's going to give you some help and give you the answer, and you're going to come to the realization that this is all B.S. The King James, the real King James, has not been changed. It's the other books beside it. So stop reading the other books. And the save a lot thing has now been debunked. Anybody that says that they went back in time or some crap and the Mandela effect is in effect for for this is flat out not telling you the truth. I'm showing you right now. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and post this in a few minutes after I get it all uploaded to YouTube. I'm going to add those two links in for these videos here. And you can choose to educate yourself and know the truth about the changes in the other books. Or you can not give a crap and you can still be believing lies. It seems like you're more entertained by believing the lies than knowing the truth. Must be watching the Flash or something on TV about going through portals and going back in time and changing this and changing that. If the devil had the power to do that, to go back and forth in time itself and change things, don't you think he would change a few more things besides some product logos and a couple of words in a, in a supposed Bible? Come on, use some brain power. I know you got something between your ears, but, you know. God loves you, and you remember that, and he wants you to know the truth. So seek it out, and you will find it.